Hi friends, welcome to Tech Trends. In this video, we can see how to control an electric bulb and water pump using Blink IoT. Let's get started. The commands required for this experiment are Node MC board, breadboard, DC water pump, a tube, connecting cable, 4 channel relay, 9 volt battery, connecting wires and a bulb with holder. First connect the 9 volt battery to the breadboard. Connect the positive pin to one, one point and the negative wire to the another point. Now connect the positive uh, wire from the breadboard to V in in the node MC board and connect the negative wire to ground pin in the node MC board. Similarly, connect ground from the relay to the ground in the breadboard and the VCC from the relay to the positive uh, pin in the breadboard. Now let's connect the bulb with the relay. Connect this red wire in the first pin in the relay and the black wire in the second pin in the relay. Now we need to connect the DC water pump with the relay. So this ha this uh, water pump has two wires. Connect this negative uh, that the black color wire to the first pin in the second second relay and the red wire to the second pin in the second relay. And the connect the other wire other end of the wire to the ground pin in the breadboard and connect the positive end of the uh, breadboard to the second pin. Now we need to connect the first relay that is IN1 to pin uh, D4 in the node MC board. And the second relay IN2 to pin number D2 in the node MCU board. This is a circuit connection. Log into the Blink.cloud website and create a new template. Go to this template option and click new template. Now give a name for the template. So I am giving the name as control bulb and pump then select the device here we are using ESP8266 and select the connection type as Wi-Fi click done now go to data streams and we need to create two variables one for bulb and another one for pump and select the digital variable and here enter the name as bulb and here I am selecting the digital pin D4 that means 2 and click create now create another one variable for pump and again select digital and give the name as pump and here select the pin 4 and click create now go to web dashboard and drag the switch switch widget and go to settings and here also give the name as bulb and select the variable which we created for bulb and click save now drag another one widget for pump 
and here click settings and give the name as pump and again choose the variable which we created for pump and again click save and click save again here now go to the search option and click new device and then click from template and here select the template which we created and click create now you will get the template id device name and authentication token copy this token and paste in our program then we need to enter the wi-fi details wi-fi username and password now select the board from tools here the board is node mcu and select the port and click on this arrow button and upload the program to the node mcu board Now the program is uploaded to the node mc board now we need to set up the mobile dashboard before checking the output download the blink iot app from the play store now open this app and here we can see the template which we created from the blink.cloud website now click on this template and then click setup dashboard now add the widget we need to add two button widgets one for button and another one for one for bulb and another one for pump click on this button widget and again click on this one and give the name as bulb and select the data stream now select the button mode as switch go back and again add another one widget for pump and click on this widget and give the name as pump and select the data stream as pump which we created from the web dashboard and select the uh, button mode as switch go back and again go back now we can check the output 